Okay, so I wanted to show off my new shirt, but this is one of my favorite musicians. <laughs> Sly and the Family Stone. So this is my friend Travis, and I met him about three to four years ago. He was in one of my first short films, introduced to me by another friend. Recently reached out to me and texted me and told me that he was going in for surgery uh, for his rare disease. It's called Puchiger's Syndrome. And um, yeah, he, he offered to uh, have me come in and film a little bit of his recovery while he's at the hospital. And uh, just give me that opportunity to maybe make some type of documentary out of his story. This song kept going through my mind over and over and over and it's still going through my mind. I just kept hearing this song. And why, why are we here in the hospital? Well, Puchager disease is a rare disease that affects like 10 to a million people. And it makes you have a buildup of pull-ups in your internal organs. The mind's a little bit different. It likes to put tumors on um, areas and it likes to try to make my organs collapse. This time it made a bile duct in my liver go all like bad and it's draining the blood from the liver. And I've probably filled up five or six of these today. This thing can affect your large intestines, your stomach, your um, small intestines, your colon, your pancreas, your liver, your testicles, your lungs. It'll go for all the main vital organs, pretty much. Because there's a connection there, I think, to that song. I'm, I'm coming off all these drugs. I haven't had it attack uh, me testicularly or, um, or in the lungs yet or in the stomach. Um, but it's attacked the pancreas, the small intestine, the liver. This time it's went after my liver. You know, this is the 16th procedure. I've learned to embrace this disease. It's fine. I don't mind embracing this disease. It's, it's my own, you know. It has to do with past lives and it has to do with a lot of things. When I had the tumor removed from the pancreas, I didn't eat for 34 days. I'm so I'm sorry. Man.
were you doing there before? Like that. That's my own. That's my very own symbol I made. Man, now I get my thumbs up out of there and just do that one. Which was a while, but man, you know when you look at it, there's always somebody who has it worse than you. The fasting portion of it is pretty good. It, it, um, it, it does something to you psychologically. It makes your thoughts change. Pain is fine. I don't mind. But it's what it did to me mentally. And it makes you become very humble. Somehow this song is fixing me. It makes you become very, um, uh, I guess hungry <laughs> after a while. But that's the cool thing is you can choose what you want to eat afterwards. Um, you can choose what it is that you want. And anytime you get hit in the guts, you know it messes you up so and hopefully you make good choices with your health it kind of gives you a chance to start over um, I'm glad that I was able to let this emotion out. So it's never going away, so I know I'll be back again, which is it's fine. It's no big deal. What it does is it makes you seize the day. I can't wait. It makes you appreciate everything that you have right now. To hold on to something. To hold on to something that means something to you. Whether it's your health or your family or your mental state. Whether it's just something small to eat, the little things, it makes you appreciate what you have. And that's the good way, that's the best way that I've seen to be able to, I guess, manage such a thing. positive and take the bad with the good and just keep moving forward and keep dreaming and keep living big. While editing this I realized that it's important to chase my dreams and that I have this passion and love for creating images and uh, more so creating emotion and while editing this it just reminded me of that. <laughs> <laughs>